<laughs> Welcome to this week's edition of The Passion of the Digital Artist. And here he is, that passionate tradigital artist himself, Jeff Mueller. Every single time you do that, it just, I always think it would just get, I'd get uh, used to it, but I'm not. It's just kind of a, a cool thing. Just think there's a, you probably did that out of the 145 vlogs. You probably did about 140. 35 of them. Something like that. Yeah, we instituted that early on, and every now and then, if, uh, you know, we're kind of in a more mellow mode, we, we don't throw it in there. But we hadn't done it sure. for a while, so we were due. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You nailed that one. So what's up, Jeff? Uh, it's been a, yeah, we've been a couple of weeks, but what's been happening is uh, I've been working, pretty much putting my time and effort into the, uh, the, the website, the new website. New website is it's being built it's the this is the home page right now the scrolling i've got I, I mean i've got a lot to go but i'm probably about three quarters of the way so hopefully by next week i'll be ready to launch launch out the new website get everything live and you know it it, it should be this website is designed to make my artwork available to everybody in print form metal print form canvas print form and the original uh, artwork available to anybody who loves my uh, traditional artwork. Uh, I that's that's the main thing I've been working on. The, the other thing is is I got a show coming up. Uh, it's a show at the Dreg Spot in second April here in Canton, Ohio. What's the uh, date on that? Uh, the I I believe the opening is uh, right before the 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 week before the first Friday. So I'm not sure Saturday, but it's called the, uh, I, I'll give you more details next week. I'm going to be dropping off. I'll give you the exact details uh, on the on the show uh, in next next week's blog. But uh, it'll it's down there. And the painting that I'm entering, here it is. It's White Winery has become a canvas. I did this wow, painting. Wow, that. I did this painting last year for, um, I did the painting for a, a Christmas card, and I always wanted to turn it into an ex. This is actually a winery in Cedarburg, Wisconsin, and this particular picture, we were there last year, and uh, there had been a light snow, and I, I had to uh, grab the reference, and I just basically wanted to, I painted in the real, uh, as if it snowed a good couple inches instead of just a light snow, add it in, give it a real holiday look. Uh, enjoyed doing this painting a lot but that's white winery that's what i'm going to be entering into the show got a little bit of work to do between now and next uh the drop off next saturday but that's 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 where i'm at right now with that very good what hopefully uh when that's finished i can uh get that to the winery you know the, the cedarburg i think it's uh winery in cedarburg wisconsin and then uh the other the other aspect of what we got going now is the the water tower project, uh, the North Canton water tower, the 50 Shoe Shades of Blue. Uh, the the project is getting close to we're getting close to six months halfway through. I believe today is day 171. Uh, about 450 documented pictures, but probably another 500 that went along with it. That particular project is moving along. It's gaining a little bit of steam, getting a pretty good following, uh, and that keeps me that keeps me busy throughout the week. So when you think of working on the website, working on the water tower project, a year-long project, I, I love the commitment of that project, and I've learned a lot about lighting. Uh, lighting. It is so much, uh, it changes so much, uh, but also what happens is uh, as the sun's relationship to the tower changes, uh, we're getting right now uh, a little bit later and later. I'm, hopefully I can get this to daylight standards where it'll knock back the clocks about another hour and I'll be able to do this for a little bit longer. But I'm already, when I'm on my way, my time is about uh, 6. Uh, about 7:15 in the morning, I'm driving by the tower, and that's when I'm taking the pictures on the weekdays. 
and the sunrise is about seven this morning i believe it was 7 45. so it's getting later and later as far as the sunrise so when i get there there's still some good light but the sunrise isn't happening so right now i'm documenting a lot of pre-sunrise type light and then once we hit the daylight savings which i think is what two weeks from now i think it's november 7th but don't quote me okay so oh, three weeks from now so we'll see what happens as far as that goes how dark it gets uh, i i might have to start s switching over and s shooting the sunset which is about seven o'clock so i'm i'm i'll be able to do that head out over there if i don't but i'll be getting the daily pictures for that particular project but i've learned the just the relationship of how this uh, how it moves and then also what what this project in the first six months has taught me is that when i'm dealing with a subject matter before I would always go out and photograph and take what was given me. When I'm, fo and that's that's okay to take what's given you as far as uh, if you go to a particular place and you find the right angle and it's a and the sun is out and it's sunny. I'll take the picture based off of and do a nice picture or reference, grab a reference based off of exactly what that day is. But this this has taught me that there's 365 days to shoot that particular subject and there's you know hours of daylight so to actually get and represent something in the best light possible that's something that i can think of now and really kind of understand so what i what i'll probably do in the future is map out what i want to paint go visit the site document you know in my mind document the angle of the sun and document uh, everything in which way that the particular uh subject is facing or whatnot and then map out a, a a road to capture it in the best light that you could possibly ca capture it where in the past i wasn't worried about that so much but this is this photographing this water tower day in and day out really makes you understand that there's going to be a couple pictures that are just will stand out so much more than the rest. There's already probably 100, 150 that are beautiful, but there's still that moment of the one where it looks like the Olympic torch, where the, the, the clouds were on fire, and then there was the angles that you take. And everything changes so much that the more you just concentrate on that spe specific thing, you're going to capture it in the best possible light. And that's something that I hadn't as an artist ever thought of as far as really capturing it in the best possible light because you know you just you just don't know so to actually then then there's understanding of the different lights also like for instance the way the clouds are or whatever and then there's that aspect of capturing that reference but then painting it into the light that I want to I understand way more now than I you know that I can just for instance you know painting the the snow in uh, that wasn't that's not the day that I, I represent that was represented in the in the particular reference photo the snow was you know made up in my mind based off of what I've known and it's the same thing with my subject matter going for, forward I knew how to paint in snow well now I know how to make the subject matter work as far as the lighting that I'm thinking of so you know with that said that's a lot a little bit long-winded but that gets into a little bit of my mind as you know and what what i'm thinking when i'm going to go forward uh painting my subjects the more you do the more you learn yes for sure i mean you got anything else anything exciting i think you pretty much summarized it we're heading straight into you know into the winter <laughs> happening yeah. through fall we had a little bit of snow yesterday yeah we actually it was actually spitting snow it was like are you kidding me yeah well, a, little, but, uh, a little early for this that's part the only thing i hate about sure. fall is winter's right around the corner but yeah, uh but it's supposed to be warm again what was it midweek. i saw it so it's nine more fridays till <laughs> oh my god <laughs> That kind of puts it in person. I love the holidays, but that just scares me, and I'm fearless. So, have a good week, folks. Yep.